Hello everyone, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Three Hoodoo Sisters. We just want to thank everybody for their love and their support. It's highly appreciated. Happy holidays. <laughs> I always start saying that. It's still October, but hey, I'm already saying happy holidays. Um, today's spell is going to be a spell that is for people who are being more so bullied. I know you guys are staring into my kitchen. I feel a little bit violated. Let me go. Um, so it's a spell that's going to be um, to kind of catch a group of people who are kind of trying to either, you know, make your life hard, get you fired, um, or you're a young person in school and you're being bullied and you just don't know what else to do and it's very simple and you can just do this in the comfort of your own home real easy to do first thing you're going to need is vinegar just want to give a warning you just don't do spiritual work on people randomly there's no random reason to harm somebody who's not really harming you so just because you don't like somebody doesn't give you authority to do spiritual work on them. Like, there's plenty of people who I don't give two fucks for. But I'm not about to sit here and, and just, like, fuck them up just because. So this is more so for people who are trying to protect themselves. You're going to need a ice cube maker. Um, I found this at Dollar Tree because I'm sure as hell not using mines. So, um, yeah, so we're going to get a nice size ice maker. I think I bought this for a dollar fifty at um, Family Dollar. So there it goes, because what you're going to do is freeze them up with vinegar. OK, to kind of like um, make them go away or like shut the fuck up or leave me alone, you know, type of oil, or we have, of course, our fuck you up oil <laughs> that we're selling. Um, so you would have to use one of those oils, like leave me alone, shut up, and stuff like that, okay? And then you would need a brown paper bag because basically you're going to, so in this spell, I'll say, that you're at a job that you really don't like but you need the like money but you have people kind of like harassing you and and it's a group of people okay so what you're going to do is cut it up and write down their first last names and if you can find their date of birth okay so and then we're going to go on linkedin.com so you guys can see LinkedIn.com and we're going to look for everybody at your job who kind of has the power or who's been harassing you at your job or if you need some type of picture of someone or or something at your job. Um, if you're in high school, you know, find go on. Um, so you can go on Facebook and type in their name and um, city and state and see what comes up if they do not have a LinkedIn or if there's somebody who you go to school with or blah 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 whatever and also you're going to go on Instagram and that's really really um, a good place especially to get like tons of picture especially if they're like a social media whore or they own some type of business because you know we're staying in times where people are obsessed with perfect selfies and displaying them publicly for the whole world to see so why not take full advantage of that now if you cannot find them on any social media page what you're going to really need is their name and it's even stronger when you have their date of birth okay so what we're going to do is write down, so as you can see, I wrote down Jane Doe 1, excuse my nails, Cindy Jones, um, 
don't know us, Cindy Jones, Jane Doe 2, and Jane Doe 3. So, of course, on these sheets of paper, you're going to have their name, and if you can, their date of birth. If not, their picture and their name, okay? So, this can be an actual small picture that has to fold and fit in these ice cubes. So what you're going to do is fold it, turn it to the back, turn it back, and start to fold it away from yourself, okay? So now you fold it up, the paper is going away from yourself, okay? And so you're going to put them inside of here. So I'm just gonna grab these and make sure they're good in there put them face down make sure they're right next to each other especially if everybody is kind of working in cahoots with each other so that it freezes them all up pretty much at the same time put that in there take this alrighty so if you have a group of people, you can kind of put them all, all in here. But what I've noticed is that it works better when it's groups of people who are close. So it works better. So if you have one group of people here, like managers and supervisors, you put them here. If you have one group of people here who are just the employees who get on your nerves, and then one group of people here, you know, so they have to run in the actual same group. Now you're going to take the fuck up oil, shut the fuck up oil or leave me alone oil and pour it in there. Pour in a good amount in each. So bam, 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 bam. All right. So these should be covered by the oil all right so you've already gone ahead and added the vinegar to um, each one make sure you tightly folded all of your envelopes okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to put them inside of the freezer yay and they're going to stay in there how long forever if you want to you you can take some saran wrap and put it on top of here to keep it covered and to keep people from using it so, so sometimes we'll put it way in the back <laughs> so people don't touch it um so that's going to be a really quick spell to kind of help you to pretty much make a group of people stop so if this doesn't work, of course, you, you can do something much stronger. So I'm about to walk over to the freezer and put it in there. So you can see <laughs> inside of my freezer, put it in there. Of course, if you're doing this, put it in the back. Move, bitch, get out the way. So put it all the way in the back, okay? And again, while you're doing this work, you need to put a lot of your energy into telling them to leave you alone, to freeze up, whatever. There's even Bible verses that you can recite to stop your um, enemy. So while you're doing this, when you're adding the oil and the vinegar, when you're writing their names down, folding everything you should be concentrating on getting them to stop and to leave you alone so hopefully this helped you guys and conjure on